more grind, more hustle, more pain, more struggle, more hustle, more struggle. Sometimes you can't escape your trouble. Sometimes you just can't escape your trouble. More grind, more hustle, more pain, more struggle, more hustle, more struggle. Sometimes you can't escape your trouble. Sometimes you can't escape your trouble. I was broke on the dump. Trying to get it up, losing money every single day I was in trouble Situation more tense enough, and they know I'm fine, be alive for end up dead up in the rubble so What's good, Fit Fan? Welcome back to another vlog Thank you guys as always for checking in with your boy Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel So let's have a conversation about the election day so today is thursday it is november the fourth the fifth and um as you guys know election day happened on tuesday the third and there is still no president that has been announced they're still counting the ballots still counting the votes and people are getting all upset and getting their blood boiled about it trying to figure out who the next president of the united states will be Look, man, I said it last vlog. I want to say it again. Um, these are my personal opinions about it. It's my channel. So, um, anybody care to listen? They can. They won't. Time stamp it. It is for it. Enjoy the vlog. Look, it is what it is. Um, it doesn't matter who's the president of the United States for me because they haven't done anything for me. The only person that did anything for me so far was Trump, honestly. Um, like I said, he helped me with paying off some debt that I had, some important debt that I had. Um, so, in my opinion, that's the only person that's really done anything for me. Um, <clears throat> you know, people can say about Barack Obama, Bill Clinton, and everything they want. But for me, no one has done anything for me. I have to do everything for myself. So, with that being said... Um, People who are getting all upset about the views of the presidency, look, it's not stopping what you got to do. It's in front of your eyes. It's not stopping the people that are looking out for you, the people that you got to take care of. Life still is going on at the end of the day. You still got to chase your money, still got to chase your dreams, chase your goals, chase your legacy, anything you're trying to put behind for you, your kids, your family. You still got to go chase that at the end of the day, guys. So it doesn't matter who the president of the United States is. You still have to live your life. So that's just my personal two cents about it. Um, just want to start the vlog off giving a positive message. Look, continue to grind. Don't let no one dictate what your grind is. Don't let nobody dictate your day, how to live your life. Look, just keep going, keep living, and you will be fine. As long as it's positive, you'll be straight. So my personal two cents, you don't like it, I don't care. Look, it is what it is. Biden or Trump, doesn't matter. Enjoy the vlog. Continue to chase your money, man. Continue to do the things that you need to do to progress in life. If you are after something, chasing something, continue to progress towards that. Don't let anyone or anybody dictate what you need to do because they are not going to do what you need to do to progress in life. Um, if you're trying to make a legacy, which we all should be doing, if you're all trying to do something that's going to stand out, if you're trying to make something of yourself, leave some behind for your kids, leave some behind for anybody else, continue to do that, guys. Don't let anyone or anything dictate what you need to do at the end of the day. Um, even down to weight loss. Don't let anybody dictate what you need to do to stay fit. Do it. Just fucking do it. And don't let anyone get in your way of doing it. Everybody's willing to surrender. in my heart a 
allow my contradictions Let me be conflicted Let me do some improv for everything feel scripted Let me pull my weapon Shoot from where the hip is Tell the truth, let it loose Do away with fiction I'm feeling these days No one's giving leeway People on the high road Swerving off the freeway I'm trying to find that silver Line it where it still hurts I go by Chris now Remember I was pill first Swallow when that pill hurts Looking at the real world Who we are as people Feeling unfamiliar I'm trying to find that Moment to rewind back Tell me where the time went Show me where my mind's at This world got me spinning in my chair Newscast got me sick Fist swinging in the air Information overload Ain't from the overlords I keep my head on a swivel Never overboard In this day and age These trying times These are the These are the thoughts in my mind We knew from the start That things fall apart These are the These are the words in Alright Fit Fam, so as you see, the return of front squats on this session here, I think this was Thursday, um, and those last two, those my last set, uh, my knee gave out, or well, not gave out, but I felt my knee hurting me, and I told you guys before, if I feel any struggle, I'm going to stop that movement and progress on to the next. I did hit 315 on the front squats. That's the first time I did that in months. So that was a moral victory for me. But front squats are definitely back. They definitely feel better than the, than the back squats as far as my knee go. So I'm going to keep them in rotation for a, a little while. Uh, moving on to the hack squat. As you guys know, I like hitting this machine backwards. I will hit it the uh, other way, the right way, but hitting it uh, backwards, reverse head squats as they call it. It just furthers target on the quads, in my opinion. Um, I'm able to push more weight as well. It's a lot more challenging for me to do it. Backwards, uh, reverse, I'm sorry. Uh, did get to seven plates, did three reps of five with seven plates. Um, I do want to go a little bit higher uh, just because I like this machine. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite, probably my favorite as far as accessory um, uh, on legs. So I didn't want to, I did do a little bit more, but I didn't really want to show as much on here. Uh, good mornings, guys. I did try these good mornings. There was a person right before me. He was doing good mornings. He said, give him a try. They helped him out a lot on his squat. And I know that good mornings will. I will actually start doing good mornings with the barbell. I've been saying that for a while. I'm going to start doing that eventually on the barbell. But doing it here was a very good uh, accessory move. I felt my own hands. I felt my back. I still feel my hands. Um, and it was a really good accessory move for me to do. So definitely put these in rotation. Um, Definitely, most definitely, put them in your rotation. Start doing good mornings if you want to improve on your squat. So, moving on, I did some landmine squats. And I did do a few moves before they were showing the primary moves I did. Landmine squats. <coughs> I had to start doing these a while when I was squatting the bar. I don't know why they really hurt me. So, landmine squats was my ultimate doctor goal. And again, guys, these are all really good, effective exercises to do for your quads if done correctly. So pretty much this was the workout. I did do some abs, I did do some calves, but again, I just wanna show you guys the primary moves I did. So with that, hope you guys enjoyed this. Enjoy the rest of the video. There it goes. Holy shit, this fucking shit is finally done. We have our president of the United States, I guess. We'll see. <laughs> Trump is going to fight this shit to the end of time. He's not letting go. Um, he's still going to fight it. But guys, this shit is done. It's finally over. We can go on with our lives and survive and make our money and take care of the things we need to take care of. We'll see what you can do, Biden. Hopefully you can change the world.
All right, Fit Fam. It is the next day of the vlog. A beautiful Saturday. Almost at, well, afternoon. It's like 12.40. Headed to the old job to go hit some deadlifts. Delta's and back today. Got a busy day for y'all. Take y'all with me for this ride. Probably gonna be the last day of the vlog and shit. But going to a place to eat today. Got a meeting to go to, a business meeting, trying to get some opportunities going. So I'm gonna take y'all for that. Do a little taste that y'all know. It's a black owned coffee business. So real excited for that. But right now, about to go hit these days, man. 605 might be on the horizon, guys. I don't know if 585 feels good, which I'm kind of expecting to because I haven't done deadlifts in a minute. I'm gonna try 605 today. I did try before, I didn't hit it, so hopefully I can get to it. Anyways, guys, to my old job, the old home, old foundation. Let's work. <laughs> I'm already where I want to be at. I have a limited access to this place. So with that, oh, by the way, these two items right here, I'm gonna try this 3D. Cotton candy flavor 3D. And guys, this protein brownie, oh my God. This shit here is so damn good. This is gonna be my post workout. Right now, time to work, baby. Let's get to it. I miss this place, y'all. I really kind of miss this place. Kind of. back again with another commentary because it's my shit so um deadlifts i did here at my old job uh 24 hour fitness i'm able to get access to the gym anytime i please perks of being that good guy anyways uh tried the 605 as you see i failed it 
Um, that was that's the furthest I've ever gotten 605 pounds. I actually tried it once before, and I couldn't even get it past my knee. Um, I think if I just gave a little bit more, maybe yelled, maybe screamed, but I didn't want to cause a scene, I think I could have locked that out, man, uh, honestly. Um, but again, it was a victory for me to even get it up that far. Uh, what you're seeing is Delton Arms. Just wanted to show a couple of moves I did. Didn't want to show the entire workout. Um, but yeah, man, I'm going to definitely work on getting that 605 beltless. It's going to happen, guys. I'm giving myself a month from this day, which is was Saturday, um, November, what, the, what, today's 9th, that was 8th, the 7th. So December 7th, I'm giving myself to pull a 605 pound dead. All right, family, so session's done. Been a little bit of time since I left on my way to this coffee shop to make a million dollar deal. By the way, this Cotton Candy 3D is pretty good. It's not the best though. I'll probably say out of the red, white, blue, and green cans, this is probably eh, my second to least favorite, honestly. But I give it a solid 7 out of 10. Uh, pretty good. If you like Cotton Candy, I do. But I think Bang Cotton Candy was better than this, but that's just my personal opinion. But pretty good, guys, pretty good. Now let's go to this coffee shop, eat some food, get some grub, make some deals. Starbucks. Let's see. Wow. This is good. Holy cow. Mm. It's about the closest yet to beating Starbucks. This is like a nine and a half out of ten. Wow, that's great, man. Holy cow. That is freaking good. You don't see it, but like, it's a lot of stuff. I don't, I mean, I, I like I said, I guess I don't see it because I'm still going through it myself. Um, even my friend told, even my friend told me, she was like, man, you have the patience of Job. I don't know how you, I don't know how you deal with some of the stuff you deal with. You just, and I'll be like, look, my, I walk through and do my thing without a hesitation. So things like this, I, I know how to survive through them and I can turn that switch on, but I still want to be able to have some kind of level of comfort of living. Not just saying, uh, not just to say in the zone, but just to be able to potentially grow in life. So I definitely understand exactly what the point that's what I'm working towards. You see the difference? Like a beginner don't know. Somebody, somebody who's intermediate, kind of like. Just yeah. Here. Yeah. yeah, that's a beginner. Yeah. yeah. Or somebody. I see, somebody it, I see it that point. Yeah. Yeah. So, what would you price points be for those type say beginner, Ooh, intermediate? Yeah. Uh. Everybody's doing it. You know, they lost to the show. So, okay. 
this is more like your own store. Etsy, people go look up this and they go find that. This you go, you have a direct link. They can go Man. to your store. Yes, you do. Yeah. That one. Because I need to start being a little more quiet about some things. Yeah, that's awesome. I realize that. 